Okay, guys, uh, you caught me at a good time. First job, lay the film on the fuselage. Is that the right way up? Fuselage is going to be this lovely blue. The product I'm using is Aura Cover, German make. Uh, I've never used it before, and I've actually read through the instructions. Is a first. The lovely dark blue actually i don't know if you look at that look at that gorgeous two meters on this roll as i go so he's pulling it tight to the end like that So far though, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's going on beautifully. Just not sure how I'm going to tackle the sheet bit at the front there yet. God, the skills we have to learn to build a model aeroplane, eh? Nothing that can't be learnt though, if you've never done it before. Right, you can see the nose there. Mm, not too bad, actually. Shall I heat it with the iron or shall I heat it with the hot air? I think the iron's doing a pretty good job. It's not marking it at all, so. While it's, while it's heated to 150, I'm just sticking it down on each individual frame. as per the instructions. And over there. All right, chaps, let's just let that cool off a minute. And there is the bottom of the plane covered. All right, port fuselage side coming up. Right, I'm gonna start by putting a dab there. One opposite. I'll leave the stretch until I've got the other side on and I can stretch it bit by bit. Work my way up the fuselage. So let's take it back down to 110. So there's the side covered, just wants stretching. And you've got that overlap on the spar, which gives you this dark blue spar effect, which, you know, not too bad. go lay it on and get it looking good I think you're getting the hang of it by now aren't you guys You know, I'm really looking forward to flying this one. Let's um, stretch it out. Let's do the fun part. Start with the nose. Because that's not going to matter either side just give it a stick it down as it says stick it rub the heated god you know that's really really very good this covering i've got to say is going on a treat get 
to there to the other side. Down to the back of the wing, side down to the back of the wing. So we're doing it this way, chaps, just in case. Fuse large warps. I very much doubt it because it's not the cross bracing, but next bit. Keeping the tension even, you see. And all the way down. out there we have it the finished fuselage looking pretty smart pretty transparent Lovely shape and the tail plane possibly in yellow. Nice. I've got to glue that along the bottom there, so I've got to remove a little bit of film. Fin cover commences. watch those little bits you have a habit of sticking to your model is when your back is turned okay Keep both sides at once and that my friends is that um, let's just see how it looks we slide it on Fin, under fin and rudder covered, ready to go on the model. Good, next bit done, next bit to go is a tailplane. <laughs> There's me waving. So first job was to cover the bottom of the wings. Uh, the film wasn't wide enough to do the whole uh, span of the wing, so I just thought I would do a... I didn't want to cut it lengthwise, so I just thought I would do a um, split colour scheme. So tacking in all around. And then finally sealing along the edge and then trimming it with the blade. Sticking it all down, then I seal the, the actual trailing edge uh, onto the wood. Trimming the trailing edge. Again, now ironing on the little off cut all the way along. And trim the join bit. Because the ribs are only plastic and they're only about four mil thick so I had to really make sure it was stuck well because I couldn't afford it to uh, pull on off on the rib when uh, when I finally shrunk it so the same stage same operation for the top of the wing tack it all around one end and then the other and tacking it every couple of inches all the way around and then smoothing it as you go Turning it over the edge, same with the leading edge, and then knifing straight down, sealing that edge. Same with this rib, making sure it's really stuck well, and trimming it off. 
I actually went for a little bit of tape to join it in the end. The uh, the colour join went green. I, I decided I didn't like it, so a bit of white trim over the top of that. So just sticking it along on the trailing edge. And in a moment, I'll stick it to the trailing edge. Or perhaps not. So just going around the little ply stiffener for the rubber bands don't cut into the wing just there and then on with the yellow the yellow was a little bit um crinklier shall we say than the blue and obviously i was a bit concerned about the wing tip whether that would um come down all right or whether i should put one giant dart in it but i thought let's go for it anyway along the join there keeping it nice and really pressed down And around the edges, trim, turn it over, <clears throat> sealing it actually onto the trailing edge wood itself. Same with the tip, pulling it as tight as I can go as I could turn it over. One of the problems I was facing was as I turned it over, so it was shrinking the film and de deforming the film as I went. So it wasn't nice smooth film that I was actually trying to adhere to the um, tip. Anyway, trim it off. My nose fingers cliff. I did all this without cutting myself. Amazing. Still... I have a couple of fingers doing it at this speed, mind you. And then seal all around, get it nice and sealed, and then I can do the top piece. You notice I jumped ahead on the video. I've already covered the other half of the wing in blue. No point in repeating myself. So I'll get it lined up. Tack, 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 tack. And now I've got to decide what to do here. So just sort of <laughs> work my way around as I go and hope that I can get the wrinkles out. And the wrinkles were quite, quite large. I thought, well, if they don't come out, I can always cut that section out and put a sort of a patch on just that corner. Get a better um, grip of things down there. But you're pulling it as you tighten it. Oh, I'm not tightening it as you stick it, beg your pardon, to help it around the corners. And trim it off. Oh. Same with the trailing edge. Trim it off. Seal it all up. Get all the edges nice and smooth and then the moment comes when I tighten it out so here we go and of course I don't know how hot I can get it before it actually melts through which is always a worry so it's a bit of an experiment so just keep heating and heating and hopefully it comes out I heated it up over the leading edge wood so as I could then press it down hard onto the wood Making sure that joins nice and tight the edges you don't want edges pulling away as you heat so there we are not bad not a bad um result at all on that tip i was very pleased with it come the end okay guys what i've done is connected up the control surfaces now i've just fixed it up on a servo tester so seems to work well Right, rudder. I look at the front. Plenty of foe there. Just a horn down on that side, nothing special. Just, I just got to uh, glean a receiver from one of my other birds and I'm ready to go. I've took some photographs outside this afternoon. Uh, you can look at those now. 
they look quite nice in the sunshine and uh, if you have enjoyed this uh, build series uh, this being the cover in one final uh, next one is going to be the maiden flight if you haven't seen the uh, previous build uh, videos have a look uh, I'll link to them uh, uh, you know in the corners here when I finish this video and uh, check out check out the build and I'll see you on the slope cheers guys bye okay here we go